Republican Party, a veritable black hole when it comes to political and social equitability, is once again abusing its powers by moving to limit the voting rights of over a million people in the swingiest of swing states, Florida. What the people of Florida did, 64.6% of Florida voters approved Amendment 4, Voting Rights Restoration for Felons Initiative to re-enfranchise around 1. 5 million former felons. What Florida Republicans are now trying to do, the Republican-controlled Florida legislature is moving to pass a bill that would limit the voting rights of these former felons. Florida and Ohio are consistent members of a small contingent of states that are considered by many to be the deciders of the presidency. There's also a chance that Florida is a consistent member in your Bush Gore-themed nightmares. We're talking about a state with a population of over 21 million that is often decided by tens of thousands of people, and suddenly Republicans want to roll back the voting rights of around a million and a half free enfranchised voters, almost 45% of whom are black. As they say, you do the math. Say it with me, the Republicans are good for nothing, racist cheaters. They gerrymander to take a disproportionate number of seats in the House of Representatives, they enact laws with excessively punitive punishments targeted at poor people and people of color so that they can't vote, and sometimes they steal ballots. They know how unappealing they are, so they cheat, demagogue, and manipulate against the best interests of this beautiful country and her people. We cannot let this pending constitutional travesty go on in Florida. The more people talk about it and call the Republicans out for it, the more pressure gets put on them to do the right thing. Almost two-thirds of the people of Florida voted for Amendment 4, and doing anything but restoring the voting rights for these people is patently against the will of the people at large. Yes, the amendment needs to be clearly defined because it hasn't been yet but defining it to limit the rights it intended to restore is ethically unsound and undemocratic. Florida can decide who gets the presidency. When people vote in big numbers, the Democrats win. Adding 1.5 million more eligible voters to the state would be huge. Putting these things together, the Republicans know they're in trouble. They're trying to make sure that democracy is stifled so that they can win. Share this or any article you can to make sure this gets as much attention as possible, because the outcome of this issue could mean the difference between a democratic victory in 2020 and an unthinkable loss.